The first step in making homemade beef bone broth is to get good grass-fed bones. The second step is to roast your bones on 400 for about an hour or until they soften. Once the bones have been in the oven for an hour, you take them out, let them cool for a few minutes. While that's happening, you fill a pot with filtered water. Make sure you're using filtered water, not tap water for this. You can put a base of whatever you'd like in your bone broth. I'm going to use garlic, onion, celery, and carrots for mine for flavoring. However, it is totally up to you what you want to use. Um, or you really don't need to use anything if you don't want anything in there either. Um, this is just to kind of basically boil the flavor out to give it some flavoring other than just from the bones. So we're going to start cooking on a high with this and then once this starts to boil I'm going to put the bones into it. Okay so once you've added all your veggies in that you like I like to throw in some really good high quality salt. This is a great one. It's a Celtic sea salt. Um, it's the pink one. But just make sure you use a really good quality salt. I'm going to add in two teaspoons so far and I'm going to add in some pepper. Um, just because I like pepper, but you don't have to add it in. It's totally up to you. And then as this starts to boil, we're going to put in our bones. So then you're just going to take your bones that we've roasted and we're just going to put them, put them right into our water. And then we're going to boil this on like a hard boil for about five, 10 minutes. And then I'm going to turn it down to more of just a simmer. And we're going to keep it on a simmer for two to three hours. You're going to refill the water as needed. If you start to lose water as it's boiling, um, two to three hours is just kind of the magic spot. I don't like to do longer than that because I've read a lot about it releasing heavy metals from the bones when you do like a long simmer for like 12 to 24. So two to three is fine and optimal and you're gonna get um, the all of the marrow and the collagen and all the stuff you need out to make your bone broth. 